Well, we have a new yoga studio in town. It's called Shri Yoga. And if you think that yoga is just about doing a gentle stretch, well, think again. You can really work up a sweat doing yoga. And I am schwitzing. I was just <laughs> taking a class earlier, and it was hard. And uh, you could really get strong doing yoga. But that class was warm. We can also get a lot hotter. We'll and I'd like to introduce the up. studio <laughs> owner, Marsha Tezioli. Hi. And Marsha, how hot is it going to get in hot yoga? Well, a lot of the heat that you'll build in hot yoga comes from generating your breath. Uh, yoga is a very mindful practice, and when we practice ujjayi breathing, we actually create heat, an internal fire in the body mm -hmm. that takes stagnation out of the body, and it's one of the reasons we feel better after the practice. So yoga is a heat-building practice, and then when we introduce a little bit of heat into the room, temperature-wise, um, we can really start to let toxins come out of the body. We can get deeper into our stretch and we can actually leave feeling a lot better between the deep breathing where we clear our mind um, and we relieve stagnation away from the body and then with the temperature of the room being warmer you get deeper into your stretches uh, your range of motion improves your quality of life actually improves um, and uh, you got you to gotta try it to, to see for yourself. It's something I can't tell you, you have to experience it for yourself. Well, I love doing hot yoga, and I know that I used to get very uncomfortable in the summer when it got really hot and right. humid, and now it doesn't bother me. Um, but it can get really hot. Is it over 90, 95? Yeah, about I mean, the classes that getting? we had today were at about 89 degrees. And uh, for the Niyama hot, which uh, Mac McHugh created this great sequence, uh, that they go up to about 95 degrees. Um, the Vinyasa flow classes, Vinyasa means breath synchronized movement. Um, if you inhale your arms up, you exhale them down. Uh, those classes we have about 85 degrees. Uh, the space right now is a little bit, we have a drier heat today, but we're actually installing our humidifier, which will make the room feel more like a greenhouse. Um, and that really feels fantastic on your joints and your muscles. Um, my mother, who's 69 years old, did a class, doesn't practice regularly, and she said she felt like she was walking like a 21-year-old. <laughs> and uh, she actually was in class today and did a full back bend and does not practice yoga regularly. But the, the heat, um, it's a safe heat, it's a good heat. We have very um, great instructors here. All of our instructors have been teaching for over five years, um, which means you're, you're, you're getting really good instruction, good cues that won't let you push yourself too far. You want to feel the stretch, but you don't want to feel a strain. And uh, the right instructor, and there's so many instructors all over um, this area and in Chicago, we're really lucky in this community. But with the right instructor, you'll be told to feel a stretch, but not push. You want to find a balance between effort and ease. Mm -hmm. And they call that sukha yeah. and stera. So you find a balance between strength and calmness. And that's where we find the yoga in the middle, where we find our balance, our center, um, feeling more at ease when we leave, ideally. And that's what makes this different from a gym class. You can just yeah. go work out at the gym, but you're not getting that. You're not linking breath to movement, exactly. and you're not yeah. walking out feeling like you just got a massage, like you're relaxed, right. even though you worked very hard. But Marsha, is there anyone yes. who should not be doing? Hot yoga. You know what? If you good, you yeah, take. it's always good to check your doctor if you're starting something new that you haven't done before. Um, if you're pregnant, you may want to talk to your physician about you know how what trimester you're in and what you've been doing. They usually say if you've been doing a yoga program for a while and then uh, you get pregnant, you can continue to do your yoga program. But if you just um, if, excuse me, if you if you just start a program and you're in your pregnancy, you might want to check with yeah, your doctor before sure. that. Um, and just basically you always want to take care of yourself. You don't want to push yourself beyond your limits. You have to listen to your voice. It's not about ego or doing what the person next to you is doing. Um, and not, you don't want to judge yourself. It doesn't matter how far you can touch your toes, but it does matter that you're breathing and being mindful. That's the key to the practice, an internal gaze looking at the breath. Uh, but going back to your question, Sandy, I'm sorry. Um, if you have high blood pressure, you might want to be careful if you experience vertigo. Um, sometimes your head is inverted in some of these positions, mm -hmm. like downward facing dogs. So if you um, have vertigo or that kind mm -hmm. of thing, or um, you know, just always want to check with your doctor. Sure. But, but really, it's, it, yeah. it does create a better quality of life. And uh, 
it, there's a very um, subtle aspect of the practice where we try to feel good on the mat and good off the mat. Ideally, the practice teaches you focus, strength, and balance. And ideally, you leave the mat and you take that with you in your life. So you feel more focused, you're more mindful of the foods that you eat, the words that you think, what you think, what you do, um, your thoughts. Uh, and you can learn this on the mat and then take that into your life. Um, be a little more mindful, or try to be anyways. Yeah. 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 One of the things that I love about your new studio, the windows, I was doing the practice this morning, and the sun was shining down, and I thought yeah. I was in Hawaii. Oh, that's it felt a, that's so great. good. <laughs> I was just soaking up the rays while I yeah. was doing yoga. We chose um, this spot. We probably looked at 30 locations, um, you know, all the way in, in Northfield and Northbrook, and you know, I knew I wanted something in the area. But this spot really called our names uh, because the windows are spectacular. It's you know, floor-to-ceiling windows with treetop views. Uh, it, it's very relaxing. You actually feel like you're practicing outside. Uh, I did a back bend yesterday in class and all I could see were clouds above me. Uh, it's it's pretty, a pretty magnificent experience. Mm -hmm. um, so, so, yeah, the windows. And also the studio's name is Shri Yoga Center. And Shri is a Sanskrit word that means radiance or light. Um, in yoga and in India, we say namaste. And namaste means the light in me sees and honors the light in you. And Shri is that light. Shri is radiance. It's the sparkle that you see in a baby's eye. It's the sun. It's, um, it's radiance. And uh, mm -hmm. so we have lots of light here uh, in, the, in the classes over the weekend. We actually got to see the sunrise. Um, so in the evening, the light changes. Mm -hmm. The light changes all day mm -hmm. long, so it's really yeah. special whatever yeah. time of day you practice. Yeah. Well, this is definitely the place to be. This is hot in Highland Park. Thank you so. very much, Sandy. We're very happy so. to be here, and we look uh, forward to seeing you here in our studio. <laughs> and keep being healthy and taking care of yourself, feeling good, yeah. being mindful. Yeah. Thank you. Namaste.